Hello there. In this video, we're going to use a bit journey and focus on how to retain a same face of portrait when you work inside. So for this, we'll take image, going to upload it and go over some steps. You notice sometimes when you do, you will have a different portrait and it could be annoying. So I want to share with you some tips and tricks what I use it to retain the same face and just apply all these different options effect and creating kind of like interesting backgrounds and everything else so first what we need to do we need to upload our image we're going to use you can do a couple ways one we can just drag, uh, drag and drop in interface of discord where it will upload an image or you can click just on a plus and select upload file which is open interface and you can upload it after uploaded your file this is what we're going to use at this time you need the reference this image reference you can by click on this image and right click and select copy image address that will be inside the windows on apple you will have it copy image a little bit different options but the same things so when you do you copy this address now it's inside next what we want to do let's test a couple things one will click imagine put it our long string of the text and of course we need to put it some prompt for this we'll just go ahead and type portrait very simple things nothing fancy and press enter so this is, should take our image and generate portrait with this next we need to modify and tell me journey how much we actually want to use it of the portrait retain the same look so what i'm going to do right here you see we have a shortcut short path to our image i'm just copying this top top short path instead you remember we have this old long it's pointless right now because the short is given to us but i look what's happening right here if we have a reference to the image we have a reference portrait and it does not resemble it does not look bad but it's not what we wanted and here is a couple problems we have if we look on a string we have it no image weight and most important we have these stylizations which is will mess up with us so let's go do this way we'll go have it imagine we'll go paste that path to our image that we was using space portrait dash dash next when you specify i w as image weight and we'll put it to it's a maximum we can have it it's how much image will influence our content and next we'll have a double w s for the style and let's set style to the zero i notice sometimes people may have a problem seems like they follow everything but style can be set to, uh, in different options one you'll notice we set style through the command line and it will override our primary style what i mean override because if we're going in type style actually in settings it's in the settings if we go in a settings you'll notice in a settings right here it says style high so we don't want the style high we want to disable it and as we're doing this image will resemble a little bit closer and closer to what we wanted another things i find out it does work if we can retain some of the seed for the image that we like it um, sadly what i found out at this moment if we're going inside the mid journey on our my own library and usually you click on three dots go copy and then copy you have it right here seed but i think it's at the time of recording it maybe will fix in the future but it does not work because if i click copy seed and it says copying seed fail please try again so for some reason that options it does not work but you won't get the seed so it will resemble as close as possible to the image that you want to do it look right here where we have it we have our actual image much closer resemble to our original image already it's not exactly the same copy but facial expression very good so let's try one more time i'll go copy all of this string that we have before and what i want to do it is retain seed for the future and what i'm going i'm going to type my own seed one two three four five six seven eight doesn't matter what you type it but in this case next time when i do 
rework in some image i will protect that image by um, the seed itself so let's go ahead type enter and we'll see when it's pre under again right here and then we can look on this image and you can see some that resemble like this one resemble very close another options we can also do find image that resemble closer to what we want to use it let's go upscale this image next we're going to do another little trick in this case and in this we'll just go click and save this image after saving when you go inside type forward slash blend and you'll notice we have a two images here so we'll take our first image put it where we have it and we'll take second image we just created and we can try go ahead and blend those two images our main goal right now is a created image that resemble our main portrait as close as possible and we can do several ways I so said we can just upload it and try different permutation till we find one image that resemble the close and use it, that image as our point or we can just go ahead and try blend between images but our goal to have a day image that mid journey render and have it seed and everything inside so we can reference that specific image until our bot thinking another command you can do if you don't have it um description if you want to work a little bit more in descriptions just type describe after this take our image that you're going to use as your main image and you can press enter all right here i have some error happening on the okay let me go right there let's process this and it seems like my blending is fail at this moment so it does happening and we'll try again let's go again try blend till it's going and we're going again take one image here second image there and let's try this blend again as is blending we'll look what is preferred and right here you can see describe will take our image and try to tell us what it seeing in this image and they in many cases it does help when we try to have a portrait and again a stylization what i mean by this um we can go up 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 our image copy our image address as before and i'll just show an example and we're going image here paste our image we're going to use we're going to take our first command right there and paste notice it's aspect ratio except again i want to have it my stylization set to zero and i want to set my image weight to the two the maximum so this way we know our description will be the closer all right right here it's our finish and you can see it's definitely come closer like this portrait is very close so let's go ahead upscale our portrait that mostly matching because it's random seed it could create difference so sometimes you may need to try a few times before you find and when you select one portrait that you do like it and how it's worked we can start now modifying by using very regions and this way we can isolate it and preserve specifically faces or elements that we want to preserve okay so till this one is still processing our with a name again we won't use this just as examples showing what is going can happen but i right here i see some images already may come up very good we'll continue work just on this image so let's place on very region and from here i'm going to select lasso tool and i want preserve just the face yes maybe we can we'll see so what i'm doing you'll notice right here i'm selecting all regions and i can select multiple regions i can go around and select more regions around here like right there let's go select here as well and it's take a little bit i don't know this lasso tool kind of i don't necessarily like it it's kind of weird a little bit to me but it does work sometimes weird way okay general you can see right there i'm going and just select those small elements just isolating general face out of this and i'm not sure if i want to select hand or not okay there you go 
and at this moment we can also modify whatever we want it so let's go it sales style 250 it's my default we don't need this about that and we'll just type maybe cyberpunk goal plastic uh, gadget LED lights and you can you can actually do whatever you want it its point is this at that time we isolating face in some cases it will work almost like face replacement or swapping and now we are ready to go perform all this what's happening is we'll take this face and replacing um, before you actually replace face you can scale if you want you can go and clip it down upscale zoom out zoom in do all these different kind of tricks before you apply face i just keeping this process so we can see how it's actually will work in this way by the way here is you can see when we use it our image and we use it um, from our descript we use the line from our descript and we're using style zero way two and the right there we have the preserve actually face preserve quite a bit nice this is look almost exactly the same face it's very recognizable face and here we have it our same face you remember we preserve this face look on this hair is change everything around change <laughs> and that one look very weird so we can select one like upscale in this case and after upscale we can now definitely work for example with the zoom out if you interested in this all we can make different ways like going left right you know panning all this scanning whatever it's come in your mind so just for fun let's go ahead with zoom out in one case and let's go down well look what we have so notice we have it, our images as a reference here and we'll just click submit and look on this if you do not modify your text as you're going down most likely the faces will repeat it and some other weird stuff happening but I think for the test, just to show what's happening, we can do go ahead to do this and see what's come up. Okay, so here is our zoom is done, and we can see it's actually did a very good job. Hey, we still have it, our fingers, everything you can notice. We did not add any additional element. Of course, we can specify a little bit more, set like maybe in a workshop or something. I don't know, whatever come in your mind, but you'll notice it is preserve our face perfectly because all what we did we isolated everything around and we preserve just the face that we wanted and it's work very well and this one that actually way better than i expect i mean seriously look on this it's extend arm bottles it's definitely even with that script it did way way better than i expected at all well thank you for watching this video hopefully you're enjoying if you do please subscribe give it like share this video and have a great day